Hi everybody, this is Carla. I just wanted to come back on and show you what I made out of the um, <clears throat> thrifted uh, size two toddler footed sleeper that I got yesterday. I cut the biggest pieces of fabric I could out of it and I got enough to make two rectangles. Um, here's the front and back. And um, I wanted to make a little lovey, which is what they call, or like a little security blanket for the silicone doll that I have in layaway currently. Um, she should be paid off around the end of the year. And she's not a full body silicone. She's three quarter limb and then a silicone head and a cloth body. But she's um, very, very pretty. And she'll have a open mouth where she can take a full pacifier. So as I've been out thrifting, I've found her some pacifiers. I've found uh, pretty clothes I want for her. Um, some toys and other little items, socks, hats, headbands. And then I saw this on a craft site um, that showed how to make these little fleece uh, loveys and with crocheted edging. And the ones I saw, they were made out of an owl print material or a uh, teddy bear print. And then they had actually crocheted little owls or teddy bears and put them up here in the corner for, you know, like the baby to hang on to. But I didn't, uh, not real creative that way, and I just wanted to make a basic one. So I cut out two rectangles. So this is the front, this is the back, and it'll be pretty on either side. And then I uh, used a hammer and nail, and I marked before I actually used the hammer and nail, I went around the edge, and with a uh, magic marker, I just dotted it all along the edge where I wanted to evenly space my holes. And then I came in with a hammer and a nail and I punched through. And I put a backing behind it so I didn't, you know, hurt my um, uh, tabletop or anything. And I poked holes all through. And before I even did all that, I uh, put four big straight pins holding the fabric sandwich together so the nails would, uh, the nail holes would be evenly spaced on both parts. And then I went around, I started here, just say I started at a corner, and I did three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, and then in each hole I put two double crochet, and I went that way all the way around. Every corner is three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. And then when I got back to my starting point, I made a second row, a round rather, of um, single crochet, but I did all single crochet all the way around except in the corner where that chain one space was. I did three single crochet and then singles all the way around back to the corner, three single crochet, and I repeated that all the way around. It turned out really, really cute. This is a pretty raspberry color yarn, it's acrylic, and um, this is fleece, and it's thrifted, so it was basically just pennies to make this. Uh, the little sleeper I got was 69 cents and then 30% off of that and um, or it might have been 50%, 50% off of that I think. And uh, yeah, so it was a really good deal. Um, you could also take washcloths, cotton washcloths, and use cotton yarn and go around the edging and you could make dishcloths, you can make washcloths for kids and their favorite colors. If you had more than one kid in the family, you could make several in uh, a similar color so that each child had their own color. And it's really easy to do. I have um, arthritis in my hands, so it's a little bit harder to, um, you know, go through the holes. But, uh, yeah, it turned out very, very nice. So just wanted to share that with you. And again, this is the lovey that I made for my upcoming silicone baby. So thanks for watching everyone and I hope you liked it. Talk to you later. Bye.